When I reached out to Diego to talk to him about his kidnapping by the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, otherwise known as the FARC, I had no idea that he would actually be telling me he was still in touch with the same people who took him back in 2004. But this time, the relationship between FARC soldiers and Diego was different. They were working together with a shared objective to build a bridge between ex-guerrilla soldiers and the everyday ordinary citizens of Colombia. I'm Katie Mahalik, and you're listening to Shadow Clock. 